Splunk makes mapping your IP addresses in your logs very easy to their geographical location. You don't need to go look them up. It'll, it's got a, a built into it a MaxMind database, which will take an IP address and map it to the latest information as. Every time you upgrade Splunk, that MaxMind automatically updates. We're not going to talk about how to manually update your uh, uh, Mattermost uh, mind map. But it's all good. Don't worry about it. it. Just use the latest version. It's good enough. Uh, so let's talk about that query. Here I have a written query here. I'm going to just go right back to my Coralite con logs. I've got an IP address. And the command here is to use IP location. I have put some little extra fields in here, prefix desk location underscore. And basically what that's going to do is it makes it, when you uh, run IP location, it comes up with country, continent, city. But if you want to run it on more than one IP, you're going to have to change all those names. So what you can do is you can just put this prefix command in there, and it will then take desk location country, desk location continent, desk location city, desk location region. So everything coming out of this that was created by this IP location will be tagged with desk location. And then that means I can use my source IP and have the same thing done. So then I can see source IP locations and everything. And then a really cool thing is Splunk will allow you in your table command to use a wildcard. So I can go desk underscore star, and that's going to grab all of these desk location. I could make it even more specific and just go desk loc source loc, hit star, hit the enter, and it'll just come back with those fields. And we can see those in action. We can see the source over here. It's at all those source locations. Very simple way to uh, get back GOIP location. Hope this was helpful. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a big thumbs up. Write down below any comments of analytics you'd like me to cover, uh, commands you'd like to see, things you'd like to uh, uh, learn more about. Anyway, hope this was helpful. I uh, hope to see you back later.